Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve salatu ve selam şafi amiyel müsselin. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain. Amen. Assalamu alaikum ve rahmetullah ve barakatuhu. My dear brothers and sisters. Religion is one of the most influential social institution that is associated with a person attitude. Effect on an organization matters such as the approaches and decision matters. As a comprehensive religion, Islam incorporates all aspects of life. It stresses on the importance of its value and practice in order to seek Allah's blessing and mercy. One such leader that I believe, whom really possess the Islamic management skills, is Tansri Zali Ismail. We shall now review how Tansri manages his various companies to comply to Islamic principles. Yang bahagia Tan Sri Ruzali Ismail, a pragmatic Islamic leader with exceptional Islamic value. Who doesn't know Tan Sri Ruzali Ismail? He is a well-known corporate leader and he is mostly associated with Shabbas. He was born to a Felda settler in Hulu Selangor. He graduated in law degree from University Malaya and started his career as a legal advisor to UDA. He was the pioneer member that conceptualized the first Islamic banking for Bank Islam. He has interests in various companies, but the company that has his special interests are those companies that involve with water management. He has been awarded numerous awards for his, for his achievement locally and internationally. He also is involved in property development and his flagship is Puncha Alam, in, which is located in Selangor. He likes to contribute to various NGO and establish and had established a Mahat Tafis. He was the founder of Masjid, Masjid Puncha Alam in Puncha Alam itself. Tan Sri Rosali Ismail is not a person who looks for publicity. He shun away from all publicity as he prescribed to the principle that Good deeds are for Allah knowledge. We need to know what is the difference of a leader and what is a manager. To achieve a good manager, one needs to be a good leader. Basically, a leader is just a person with a leadership skill and have followers. The leader can be someone from any level of a company. He can be a supervisor, he can be an executive, he can be a manager, senior manager or the CEO himself. But then, the manager is a person who provides the instruction and manage a group of people. To be an uh, exceptional leader, that person needs to possess both skills. He, most importantly, must be able to adapt to different situations to achieve goals and objectives. He must ensure that the organization goes above its weight in its performance, in other words, be able to perform more than what is forecasted. He must strive to innovate his team, he must champion new goals and objectives of the organization, show courage, but yet must be fair in managing his team. He must be amana, he must be trustworthy, he must treat everyone with equal respect and yet ensure that the responsibility are delegated according to one capability. Management in Islam perspective. It is the ability of someone or a person to utilize material and human resources optimally to achieve goals according to Quran and Hadis. No one is allowed to abuse or take advantage of the material and resources. There are elements that support Islamic management, namely Tawhid and Taqwa. What is Tawhid and Taqwa? Simply said, Tawhid and Taqwa is La ilaha illallah, belief in God. He is the only one. When one has that belief in that, there will be accountability and kilafa. And what is kilafa? Kilafa is an overview, a review of everything. So in management, someone needs to have overview of the whole operation of the company, of companies that he has control with. Second, Adil wal ihsan, justice, fair, balance. A leader and a manager has to ensure justice is given to all, fairness to all, and balance up all the resources according to each own, own capability. Iktia, 
own choice, free will. No one is allowed to do what he does not want. Everyone is given his own free will, has his own choice. Fat, obligation and responsibility. As managers and as a leader, we need to know that what are our obligation are and what are our responsibility, not just to the company, but it's to the staff. It is to the society as a whole. Rubia and Isla. A manager and a leader must be willing to struggle and strive for perfection and excellence. Islan demands that a person try the best to, perf to, to get perfection and excellence in what they do, especially in his ibadah. Is ibadah meaning you are praying all the, all the time? No. Ibadah also means what you do for your living while you're on this earth. It will be accounted for during the year after. Taskiyah and Amanah The purification of the heart for Allah Once a person has managed to purify his heart for Allah Amanah is automatically instilled in his heart Ukuwa and Takaful Unity of the Ummah towards achieving the desired objective by cooperating each other Does it mean cooperating with your own Muslim brother? No! Islam never asks you to differentiate one race to another race, one belief to another belief. To achieve an objective, we have to work with one another, regardless what are our beliefs are, what our political beliefs are. It must be equal, we are the same. If we cooperate with each other, we can achieve unity of the Ummah and fraternity within the society can be achieved. Makashid al Sharia to achieve social good beyond than expected. What does it mean? Social good. Doing social good to the society. No, it's just not society. It's also social good to your own employees. If a manager just concentrate on providing a social benefit to the society, but left out their own employees, they won't be able to achieve this Makashid Sharia. That's what you say. It must be fair and balanced. So, Whatever they do, they must ensure the social good also imposed on everyone within and outside of the company. How Tan Sri Razali does it? It's very simple. He just follow the concept, the elements. For example, in Taqwit and Taqwa, which contributes to accountability and Khilafah. Basically, he accepts that all actions are answerable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cannot hide from Allah. He see everything. How he see? We never question. That is Iman. He emphasized the importance, the same importance to employees, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim. You have to be accountable to your maker. If you're accountable to your maker, then you will do things properly and perfectly as what is required of you. He advocated the concept of hablun minat and ahblun minallah. That is relationship within a human being to another human being and a relationship of a human being to Allah. It's very simple. How do you how do you take care of relationship with our other brothers or your brothers sisters? How do you make sure you maintain a good relationship with Allah? Set an example by being the first to do. He's willing to dirty his hand by doing willing to work. He is, he's willing to go down to the field to help his employees to perform their work. Accountability. Allah sees everything. In Surah An-Nisa chapter 4 verse 108, they try to conceal themselves from people but they can't conceal themselves from Allah. Basically, it means what you are doing, you can't, you can't hide everything. Next element is Al-Adil Awal Isan. Justice, fair, balance. Although Tansri Rosali managed multiple companies with, multi, with a lot of employees with various beliefs, he treated all of them equal and according to one capability. You cannot expect a clerk to do an engineer job. You must know the person capability. And he also balanced the role requirements with the social responsibility for his employees. The employees have their own life. The employees have their family to take care of. You don't expect an employee to work until midnight just to complete a thing, his job. He must have a proper work 
balance with his life. Iktia own choice free will. A person must be allowed to choose what he will do according to his capability. He should not be compelled to do what he can't do. In order to achieve this, Tan should usually discuss with various work stakeholder either from top to the bottom before delegating the task. He is the type of person that investigate that ensure proper analysis is done. He, he will also ensure that the necessary skills and tools are provided to assist his employees in performing their performance, in performing their responsibility and tasks. Five, obligation, responsibility. By managing multiple companies, he has thousands of employees. He is responsible to their employees and he accepts that responsibility and yet he still are responsible to the shareholder and the societies. He always believed that the employees, the shareholder and society must be able to reap on the benefit from his companies according to the Islamic principles. Each one has their own share of a certain benefits. He contributes to UMA well-being, whether it be in the company or in the social as a social obligation. For example, he is a founder of the Mahat Tafis. He is a founder of the Masjid Puncha Alam. And he doesn't stop there. He's just not a founder. He'll also assist to manage, assist to provide by, by providing by providing advices, solid advices, so that the societies or the association or this NGO are able to operate and keep on operate. Iktia, one own choice and one free will. No one is compelled to do what is beyond his capability. Tansri Azali engage and discuss various stakeholders before delegating a certain task to individuals. He will discuss with all levels before he makes a decision. He will also ensure that the necessary skills and tools are provided to assist his employee to perform their task that is given to them. Rubuya and Isla. Basically, it's the struggle and the strife that one needs to achieve perfection and excellence in the world and also hereafter. And what does he get from the output is quality output to the company and to the society and to the one himself, whereby he can the job get put in the job satisfaction. There must be equal balance and continuity in order for the in order for the benefit to be felt by all the stakeholders. Taskia and Amana. Simply put, just he purifies his heart according to Islamic principle. He accepts his responsibility willingly. He doesn't run away from it. The wealth that is given to him by Allah is distributed according to Sharia principle. Uhua and Takafu. Unity of Ummah. That is the number one priority of Tansri Rosali. He believes that with the unity of Umar, is a peace. There will be peace will be achieved. In order by achieving unity of Umar, fraternity will also be achieved internally and externally. He has sacrificed for others. No one knew about this. The issue relating to Shabbos, he showed Shabbos at a lower price than what than the market price. People were thinking otherwise, but then he didn't tell everyone because why? He has Iman to him. Allah knows and Allah will pay back what he lost. He cooperated with all stakeholders. He will discuss with them in Shura so that they take a decision, the best decision for the Ummah and for the company can be made. Makhashid al Sharia, doing social good beyond the norms. Certain companies, they have already in place for the CSR 10% or 50% of the cross profit or revenue on the company. But for Tansri Rosali, he doesn't impose on the companies. He has his own means of using his own funds to ensure that donations are being made to the, to the needy. He participates in various voluntary and business associations. He directly engaged with all stakeholders so that all we understand what 
uh, the purpose of the company he built for, why he involved himself in voluntary and business association. It was not easy for Tan Sri Rosali Ismail to be where he is now, yet he always ensured that his management and leadership styles and skills abide by the values as detected by the principle of Islamic management. From his humble beginnings, Tan Sri Rosali Ismail have never forgotten his roots and the hardship he has gone through. Being a successful leader, one has to be driven by faith, which is known as Iman. To have Iman, one only have to abide by the Sharia law, engage in the things that are permitted, which is halal in Islam, and avoid the forbidden, which is haram. Decision are free to be made by leaders and managers, but religious principles provides the framework and the base for the appropriate exercise. With this, I conclude my presentation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.